hey guys what's up it's duchess braids here and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a sewing for you guys and i'm pretty much updating my sewing install process um i'm starting off with my model naraya's hair and i love how thick her hair is it's a nice length and the first thing i want to do is basically start with a leave out one of my biggest pet peeve is seeing the tracks in a sewing i just really hate seeing the tracks so i do tend to overextend myself when it comes to leaving out the um hair so i do tend to leave out a lot more than maybe i should but i just hate um when i'm done to be able to see the tracks so before we get any deeper into this video um the extensions i'm using today is from curls queen and they did send me two really thick really nice bundles of kinky straight hair um the length is 18 inches but they did also send me a tangle teaser brush and this bonnet which normally i give it to my clients when i'm done but this one i'm gonna keep for myself because it's silk on the inside silk on the outside so here are the bundles and as you can see they are super full like all i needed was two honestly they only sent me two and that is really all i needed i love the texture for some reason nowadays i'm just leaning towards a more natural look and what i like to see and for her hair her hair blends so well with this texture and really she's a dancer she's a cheerleader and she you know she does a lot of practices and stuff like that so for her to be able to get uh if her roots got wet and if the hair got wet like for her hair to be able to blend in with the hair i just think that is just so convenient so what i'm doing right now is taking out the perimeter of her hair and I want her to be able to put her hair up in a bun. Like I said, she is a dancer. So for her to be able to put her hair up and not have to worry about track showing or just being inconvenienced by the weave is just a major plus. So what I'm doing is I left out a large leave out around the perimeter and I'm just braiding it and keeping it out the way for now so that it just doesn't get in my way later on. And you know sometimes you have to pull the hair back to see like okay if I pull this hair back on the track would I be able to see um, the tracks and for me I felt like I would so I just ended up taking out the little ponytail and just adding a little bit more hair to the leave out um, around the perimeter just so that when she does pull it back in a ponytail it's not going to be showing any tracks like I said that is a pet peeve of mine so if sometimes I overdo it I just feel like that's better than actually like being able to see what's going on behind the scenes of their hair so this is the final um, part of the leaving out so now I'm gonna go in and do the foundation and for me a really strong foundation is a one for a sewing so right now I'm just making a very small but with enough hair to do a nice braid around the perimeter and I'm gonna start from the center of the top leave out and braid around her hairline and you know she has really nice thick hair like I said so um, it's just easy for me to just braid her natural hair but if she didn't have nice thick hair and she had maybe thinning hair or um, shorter hair I would probably add some extensions to it because I just feel like the this braid is just a pivotal braid for a sewing because it's the anchor braid and I'm gonna be basically using the braid that is closer to her edges to anchor the weave and to kind of hold the sewing down in some way like this is what we're gonna be using to basically hold the sewing down and if this braid is loose or if it's not intact like it could really compromise the integrity of the sewing so what I like to do is have at least one or two braids going behind the nape. Right now I'm just braiding, doing the flip method, but as you can see at the back of her head, there is two lines of braids going across that. And I normally carry that first and second braid across the nape. And I just feel like that's great with when you want them to be able to pull the hair up in a ponytail just always have the braid going across and don't just start the flipping up method right off the bat um at the back of their head once i have the two braids going across now i can braid down and do the flip up method where i'm basically taking the ends of the previous braid and flipping it up into 
the next braid until I'm left with only one braid. So for the last braid, um, I'm going to end up with two ends to flip into it because I normally start on one end, get to the center of the head, and then I start on the other end and till I get back to the center. And then once I'm left with the last braid, there is two ends to flip up into it. So once I have that last end, I go I normally go ahead and braid it down and I use that to just take the time out to cover the the back of the flip up method if you get what I'm saying so that's what I'm doing right now is just carrying that hair the end of her hair along the flip up method and you want to always tie your knot super tight um, so that you just have a really strong foundation and a really strong sewing typically my sewings can last my clients up to three months because of many different factors just how the foundation is done how I sew it in and the type of thread that I use the type of thread that I'm using is a nylon thread it's not like a cotton thread which I don't like to use because I just feel like it knots up easily and it just tears the client's hair apart this thread that I'm using is nylon and um, is just stronger it's a stronger thread it's finer and it does take some getting used to if you're used to using the more cotton like thread however i just feel like if you want a sewing that's gonna last you a long time you want to change over to a better thread and then the method of how i sew it in is every time i go under and up through the braid i always do double knots like i I go um, run the thread across the needle twice before pulling it, pulling it up and through. And as I'm going, guys, I always want to start um, the tracks going at a curve. And if you play back to when I first started the install, you could see that I started at a curve and then now I'm going to meet back up with the curve going straight across. And once I've done that, then I go back up the hairline in a curve but right now i'm just going up along that curve and then i'm going to flip down so the space that i'm leaving here at the top is basically for my last two tracks and those two tracks are going to go straight across so i almost never cut the tracks um especially if it's really expensive hair i know some people are iffy about that even though this hair was given to me i just do um just used to not cutting tracks so i always do the flip method until i get to the top so the last two tracks are the top that's when i will end up cutting it and as you can see guys um this hair is super full they give you a lot of hair in one bundle and that is only one bundle that's in her hair right now and you know it already looks super full and now i'm gonna start with the next bundle and you know it's just 18 inches long and it's super full the texture is perfect for a nice blowout on natural hair and it just blends well with our texture like i was saying before i've just been really intrigued with um a more natural styles nowadays i've kind of pumped the brakes on doing wigs not saying i won't show any wigs on my channel anymore but i've pumped the brakes because i just feel like i'm falling more in love with the more natural look for us as a people and i just feel like um these type of sewings especially with the fact that they're having hair texture that matches our hair in its natural state is just better for us i know that sometimes when you have a leave out and you start to press your own natural hair it could definitely damage your leave out but if you already have a hair that when it's wet or when it's in its natural state it's like your own texture it just makes it 10 times better to not have to always straighten your own natural leave out to blend in with the sewing so for her even though when i'm done i am going to straighten this i am going to curl it however if she just wanted to get up out my chair right now with the texture of the leave out and the texture of her own hair 
that will also be fine. And I'm sure once she sweated out her natural hair um, and she's like dancing or whatever, she could just wear it just like this. She just throw it in a bun and wear it just like that. And then she also has the option of straightening it, curling it. And then if she washes it again, it just bounces back to this kinky straight texture. So I'm just been falling in, I've just been falling in love with the textured hair for us and I just do feel like the more natural look is starting to be my thing now so I just pumped the brakes a little bit on too much of the full like lace wigs I probably will do some in the future but just not as much as I was doing so now I've finished the install guys I did the last two tracks at the top so now I'm taking out her leave out and you know with me braiding her leave out that makes it blend in even more with the hair texture and i wish i had um just throw it in a bun or styled it like that so just so you guys could see that you know it does blend in and it looks good however i'm gonna just jump right into just straightening her hair and um blending it in and just showing you guys the finished look So now that I've straightened her hair, I'm going to go in with the um, Cara Care Wax Stick and just get her edges straightened out. And this is how the hair looks. It's so full, guys. And like I said, again, I have to stress that this is only two bundles that I've put in her hair. And I don't think I use all of the second bundle. I might have like a little strip left of it. However, like to um, straighten it out, I go in and I straighten out the root with the hot comb first and that is so that it's not puffy at the root so that when I do straighten it out I don't have like some puffiness at the root and everything blends in really well so I always chase with my comb and the flat iron you guys already know or if you you know if you're new here I um everything that I use especially the hair that I'm featuring now will be in the description box All right guys, so this is the hair straightened and her hair blends in really well with it being straightened. Um, I should have uh, trimmed it down, but I just skipped that step and I'm gonna just jump right into curling it. And just to show you guys how it looks straight and how it looks curled, the curls did um, stay in. I didn't spray any type of hairspray to hold it or anything, but to me it, did pretty well with the curl um and you know once you start messing with it and playing in it and stuff like that um then it's gonna fall some more but i didn't spray anything in it i just wanted to see how it will curl naturally on its own and as you can see it's curling and it looks really nice
and this is the final look you guys so again this hair is from curls queen they did send me their kinky straight only two bundles and it is 18 inches long this this 18 inch looks really long to me i don't know if that was a mistake or not but this is only 18 inches long this is the final look this was the hair straightened curled you've seen it in its natural state and if she wets her hair it will go right back to that kinky straight texture um the sewing was a great sewing she can put it up in a ponytail while she dances or she's at practice or just living her everyday life thank you guys so much for watching all the information will be in the description bar for you guys to check out and yeah i'll see you guys next time